Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Health Minister Dr. S. Subramaniam said the country's worrying obesity rate is the result of Malaysia's independence. He said we were all hard workers back then and now all we do is sit around in air-conditioned rooms. He went on to tell a story about the time he attended a forum in the Netherlands. A minister there showed him a picture of her office. Here's how he described that photo. Underneath the table, there were actually cycling mechanisms, so when you're working, your legs will be pedaling. Could you imagine the type of things our ministers would say and the amount of work they'll get done if they had to pedal at the same time? I mean, you guys already do such a great job. <music> Former MCA President Dr. Ling Leong Sik has described himself as a patient man, but he's surprised Prime Minister Najib is dragging his feet, filing a lawsuit against him. Najib had slapped the former transport minister with a letter of demand after he accused the prime minister of taking public funds. Ling had also agreed with the former premier, Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, that Najib should vacate his post. However, Ling has refused to retract his statement or apologize after a demand from Najib through his lawyers, saying that he was willing to face the prime minister in court. Selangor so Menteri Basar Azmin Ali will be asked to explain to PKR why he allegedly approved three highways in the state without informing the party. PKR President Dr. Wan Azizah Wan Ismail said she will be asking for his explanation this Friday. She was asked about Azmin acting unilaterally, the same reason that got former Selangor Menteri Basar Abdul Khalid Ibrahim sacked from PKR. Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak is not an iron-fisted ruler, said Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Shahidan Qasim. This was because the Premier never acted beyond his jurisdiction, he said. The number of typhoid fever cases continues to rise, with over 50 cases reported as of yesterday, according to Health Minister Dr. S. Subramaniam. But our public health measures, our offices on the ground, we are checking food outlets and then checking on people who have not been vaccinated against typhoid, particularly food handlers. Penang Chief Minister Lim Guan Eng took a dig at former past leader Nasaruddin Mat Isa for being appointed CEO of Prime Minister Najib's pet project, the Global Movement of Moderates in Malaysia. Lim offered his congratulations but said this merely proved that Pass and Amno were inching closer to one another, despite being former arch enemies. And that's our fact sheet for today. Leave a comment, hit like and subscribe. And guys, I care about you, so please eat healthy and exercise. We'll have to break up with all of you. Prasad Michael, thanks for watching.